Alrighty, it is day two of week two. Out here again, shoot my compound bow. Get another day in of shooting. Um, kind of want to go a little bit off topic of archery shooting today. Uh, lots going on right now with the coronavirus. It's hit several different uh, countries and it's uh, hit ours now. And just kind of want to say heart and prayers go out to those that have lost family and friends from that virus and uh, for those that are going through it currently. Then also uh, more recent news, there was a tornado that happened in Tennessee. Over 20 were uh, found dead and over 20 are still missing. Heart and prayers go out to, uh, to those that have lost family and friends from that. Bottom line is here though, I mean, it just brings us to the sober thought of, you know, you just never know when you're, what day is going to be your last day. And if it was, question is, do you know for sure where you're going to spend eternity? You know, are you going to go to heaven when you die? And how do you know that for sure? Sad thing is today, a lot of people really, truly don't know. And they put their faith in a just of a hope that they hope that they'll go to heaven because they're hoping that, you know, their good works will outweigh their bad. Uh, but, you know, there is a way you can know for sure that you'll go to heaven when you die. Uh, the Bible tells us uh, that, you know, that we may know that we have eternal life. A lot of people try to live a moral, upstanding life, which I commend you for that. But at the end of the day, that's not going to get you to heaven. The Bible says, uh, for by grace are you saved through faith, not of yourselves. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. So he's, you know, it's not by our works. It's not by ourselves that we get to heaven. It's not by us living a good life. And even if we spend our whole life living it to the best possible way we could, uh, we still would fall short. The Bible says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So even no matter how much good deeds we would do or we'd still fall short of the glory of God. People today put their faith in works to get them to heaven, but the Bible says it's not of works. Uh, people put in the work of, you know, getting baptized or the work of communion or being a part of some church or something. It's, it's not about your church membership. It's not about you being baptized or taking communion. Uh, the Bible says it's not of works, lest any man should boast. The Bible says, for by grace are you saved, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. You know, a gift, when somebody gives you something, you don't have to work for it, you know. Um, now, after someone gives you a gift, you may do some things uh, back for them because you you want to show them your appreciation, but you, you didn't have to do anything for that gift. Bible also says in John 3 16 we're all familiar with that verse I'm sure for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life see God gave us that gift for eternal life the only one that could pay for that price of our sin was Jesus Christ and God gave us uh, that gift Jesus Christ came down uh, to this earth and died on the cross and three days afterwards he would rose again and in that verse it says uh whosoever believeth in him it's not just saying that okay i believe you know there is god uh it's not the fact of okay i believe that jesus christ is god uh it's not just believing that the devils also believe that and they tremble but you know it's putting our belief in him okay you may be wondering okay what am i putting my belief in him for it's you putting your belief in him to wash away your sins uh, it's you putting your faith and trust in him to wash away your sins this uh precious pure blood so anyways just want to share that thought with you if you have any questions at all be in contact with us our gmail accounts there and below praying for those that are going through the coronavirus and those that are still missing and for the families there in tennessee as well so anyways y'all take care